Hey guys, so another exclusive video for our Instagram and Facebook. So we are doing a review on the surprise dinosaurs from Zuru, okay? So let's take a look at this. Dino Strike. Let's open one of these. I've actually purchased one of these before. Um, the dinosaurs are actually pretty cool. You know, it actually comes with some weapons which I'm not a huge fan of. But let's just open this up. It's not easy to actually tear all this off, to be honest with you. Okay, let's take a look. We're supposed to open the entire plastic covering. So we are going to use a cutter to cut this loose. Wow, this is tough. Okay. And then you are supposed to remove this and you'll get different compartments. Okay, let me just put this aside. And let's rip this open. You'll be able to find different parts, different weapons of um, the dinosaurs. But I'm only interested in the figures, not exactly the weapons. Okay, so now we have all the different parts of the weapons. Still no idea what this dinosaur is. I think we have the body. This looks like a prehistoric sea creature. Let's open this part up. More weapons. And now, yes, definitely, I think we have a plesiosaurus. That's pretty cool. I love it. So it's time for us to actually assemble this plesiosaurus. It should be pretty easy. Just need to figure out, you know, this should be for the neck. Let's try. Maybe not. There you go, that's for the neck. And then we are fixing the flippers. This looks like the flippers, the hind flippers. Am I doing it right? <laughs> Not too sure. Let's try the other side, probably this side. Yeah, this looks better. Hmm. It looks kind of weird. Maybe not. Let's try the other side. Yeah, I think this side will, will be much better. Okay, let's take a look at the instructions to be safe. Okay, let's fix the tail first. Okay. Big flippers. Yeah, it should be this way. Yeah, this is the right way. And then the other flipper. And here's for the hind flippers. There you go. So this is actually a plesiosaurus. It looks really nice without the armor. I think once you place the armor in, it will have a different look and feel. I definitely prefer 
this figures without the armor, but let's just fix up the armor first. Looks pretty cool. This pleases plesiosaurus is actually very beautiful. Yeah, there you go. So you can actually fire this two little um, projectiles over here by pressing the buttons. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, let, let us take a look at the leaflet. We have a stigma lock, we have a velociraptor with a pterosaur, which is a pteranodon. And Kylosaurus, T-Rex, T-Rex skeleton, hopefully I don't get the skeleton, I hate skeletons. <laughs> yep. Okay, but we have a beautiful, beautiful um Pleosaurus. Let me just remove this. And you're supposed to uh, put on the helmet for this um, Pleosaurus. I would definitely prefer this Pleosaurus without the armor and the weapons. So that's our first figure. Let's have a look at this. Let's rip this open. It's actually very, very tough to open this. Okay, you still have to open up this plastic film. Which is not easy, so I'm just going to use a cutter. To slice this apart, it's much easier. And then remove this portion and you get different compartments. Open all these compartments up. Seems like we have very very similar um, weapons. Hopefully it's not the same figure. Otherwise, oh yes, it's a different one, so that's a relief, huge relief for me. Okay, let's pour out the contents. It looks like a Stegosaurus. Yeah, it's definitely a Stegosaurus. This compartment should be... Yeah, there you go. Okay, let's put all the projectiles over here. And here we have the different parts of the Stegosaurus. This looks like, this is definitely not looks like, it's definitely the plates of a Stegosaurus. So let's push this in. There you go. This portion should be the head, so let's fix this. There you go. And then we have the tail. Snap this right in. Oh my goodness, you can actually rotate, you can actually move the head, the neck. So what about this? Are you able to remove this? Not too sure. Doesn't really work. Mm, are you supposed to like flip the flippers and the neck can move? Seems like it. Somehow it's not working. But I think it's supposed to be moving along with the flippers yeah there you go it was actually moving just now like this yeah somehow it's not functioning well but that's fine the bigger legs definitely will go behind so that's an easy fix for us 
These figures are actually very, very nice, to be really honest with you. I feel like collecting all of them. But definitely without um, the weapons. Beautiful. This Stegosaurus is beautiful. And then here is the weapons for this. So let's take a look at how the weapons are being assembled. You know, I feel like collecting all 13 of them. Mm -hmm. So where does this go? Let's see. Okay, it's supposed to clip on to one of its plates right here, like this. Wrong side. Yeah, it's supposed to clip on to one of the plates, like this. Looks beautiful. Um, I think we have placed the wrong side again, so let's remove this. Just place it in. Snap it right back, and you can actually point. Can you turn it? Not really. Oops. Okay, there you go. Looks really, really nice. I love this. So somehow this came off, so we need to fix it right back. Oh my goodness, it's so tough. Let's try to fix this. There you go. Let's see whether we're able to turn it. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. The whole thing came off. But really, really nice. The figures are really beautiful. Pretty surprised by the quality of um this dino strike dinosaurs. And yes, please in the projectiles. It has a um you know dino um they call that Dino Riders, yeah, it has the Dino Riders feel. And this is pretty cool. You can actually move the neck by moving the tail. So that's really nice. So we have a Plesiosaurus, we have a um, Stegosaurus. But I'm not a huge fan of um, the weapons. So if I were to display them, I will definitely remove the weapons. Okay, I'm just going to slice this open. If you're using this at home, a pocket knife, a box cutter, please be really careful. Okay. Looks like I have a looks like I have a slice again. Okay. Open this. Yes, a different one. Very happy with it. Oh, we have a T Rex. Nice. Great. Super happy. Think we need instructions for this. Okay, the last 
compartment. Looks beautiful. This T-Rex looks amazing. I love it. Okay, so I think we just need to insert this. Snap it right in. Yes, looks beautiful. Very, very lucky to be getting um, the T-Rex. Absolutely lucky. Wow, how do we actually assemble the, the this leg right here? It's very, very tough. Mm, not sure whether this has been secured. Okay, seems like we have secured it. Okay, not exactly very, very sure. So we will need to make sure that it is able to stand. Okay. There's the tail. Wow, very tough to assemble. You definitely need an adult to help you if you are a kid. Super hard to push it in using a lot of strength. Yeah, but this is awesome. Take a look at this. I'm able to actually move the jaw and I got this at 790 Singapore dollars, which means it should be about um, $5, $4 USD around there. So it's very, very affordable. And it's pretty cool. But the texture of this feels very different from the Plesiosaurus and the Stegosaurus. Because for the Plesiosaurus, it has a very rubbery feel to it. Okay, next up, what should we do? Okay, so this is basically the armor. Um, this can be fixed very easily just by placing this on the top. Put this in. And this is the helmet for the T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> looks so cute but it's pretty cool yeah so let's do a roundup okay I'm trying to get this T-Rex to stand ah there you go nice and we have a Stegosaurus I'm happy with the Stegosaurus and the Plesiosaurus the quality of the T-Rex is not as um, as great as um, the Plesiosaurus and um, the Stegosaurus. Let's take a look at the other um, dinosaurs over here, shall we? The Ankylosaurus looks really cool. I don't want the T-Rex skeleton. I'm not a huge fan of um, skeletons. Spinosaurus skeleton, you know, it will be better if they actually produce a Spinosaurus figure instead of a um, skeleton. So Triceratops looks very awesome as well. Velociraptor as well. Therizinosaurus, cool. Good selection. Ter Pterosaur. So they have two Velociraptor. Um, not a huge fan of raptors. And the Sticky Moloch. Sticky Moloch, it's very nice. But definitely the one which I want the most is actually this T-Rex. So there you go. Yeah, so I'll be uploading this video onto Dan Safari and um, Instagram and um, Facebook. So this is an exclusive. It's not going on to Dan Surprise. Okay, so hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.